smart with your acquisitions. I want to jump ahead. Go ahead. I think that was a savvy strategy you employed during the 2008 financial crisis. Obviously not a good time for housing, the housing market, the market that depends right. on the goods that, that you right. sell. Can you talk about what you did then? Because you have referred to it as the biggest risk you've ever taken. You could feel that recession coming on. It was, it was very scary. So it really became evident that we were in a recession in late of 2008, 2009. And uh, we had about 250 locations at that time. There was a acquisition that came available and it was Bradco. And there was no way I could oversee that acquisition at that time. I had to take on a partner, an investment partner, and I had to give up 40 some percent of my shares. And uh, we've always owned everything. But this one was one that I knew that I knew the company and it had to be done. And it really is painful to give up mm -hmm. control and to bring in investment bankers. But it, if I could give them the return, like they always want to return within five years, I would buy my shares back. Did you buy your shares back? Yes. We bought them back in uh, three, three and a half years. And I, I still get shivers right now uh, because I felt I had risked the company that I wanted my children to run when we're not here. You know, it's, it's not a company that's ever going to be for sale. To make that acquisition at that time during a recession was, I was, felt like I was risking it all. But I knew that, I knew that it was a good company we were buying and it's proven to be one of the best acquisitions we ever did. But you can't see into the future. You can't see that far into the future. So it was, it was, it was difficult, but I have a great team. I had a great team then, and everybody believed that we could get it done. And I, you, you have to trust, trust your experts within the companies that we have, and we did it. <laughs>